Welcome back to this video. In this video, we'll look at one subnetting question example. We have an IP address given to us 192.168.1.0/28, and we have three questions we need to answer. Number one, how many total subnets we get? Number two, number of valid IP in each subnet. Number three, what's the subnet mask? So let's look at the IP address 192.168.1.0. That tells us it's a class C IP address. How? Because the first octet, right? First octet here is 192. 192 is class C because it's is 192 to 223. That's class C. Okay. So this is class C and class C. What happens? We have three network portion. So the first three octets are network. Okay. And the last octet is the host okay. this is class C but this is not 24 the default subnet mask for class C is 24 is given to us as slash 28 so that means some borrow has happened here in this uh, last uh, octet okay so we need to find that out and I will show you Okay, how many total subnets, right? So we need to put it like this, the two power table like this, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, okay. And we know the default for class is slash 24, right? Now we need to figure out all these questions from this two power table. This is given to us slash 28, okay? So that means 24, one bit borrowal slash 25, right? 2 bits borrowable slash 26. 3 bits borrowable slash 27. 4 bits slash 28. And that's where we need to stop because it's given to us slash 28, right? This is slash 28 slash 28. So this is 24 plus 4 is 28 right one two three four four bits we borrowed and the last bit is obviously slash 28 and the value for that is 16. this is a block size for each subnet for each subnet we'll get 16 via uh, 16 ip addresses but valid ip addresses will be 16 minus 2 is 14 okay so this is the valid IP in each subnet 14 again because 16 is the total number of IP addresses but we have to minus two one for subnet uh, one for network ID and one for broadcast so we still get 14 valid IP addresses we can provide to the host okay but how many total subnets well, the formula is 2 to the power of the number of bits borrowed. So the number of total bits borrowed here is what? 4 bits, right? So 2 to the 4 equals 16. 16 total subnets we get. Again, that formula is 2 to the number of total bits borrowed and the total number of bits borrowed is 4, right? So, let me write it down again, 24 here, but from here, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 
one and one two three four so two to the four right two to the four that is 16 total subnets what's the subnet mask we borrowed four bits, so we need to add 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 is 240. So that is 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 240. 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot. Okay, we have the answers for all three questions now and uh, total subnet 16 and let me show you how this 16 goes right so this will start from 1.0 obviously 1.0 and the block size is what block size is 16 so it goes by every subnet will have 16 ip address so 1.0 it goes to 1.15 that's the first subnet right this is the first subnet right and then the second subnet will start at 1.16 and it goes to 1.31 third subnet 1.32 to 1.48 but minus 1 1.47 fourth 1.48 to 1.63 48 plus 16 is 64 minus 163 fifth we'll go start at 1.64 and 64 plus 16 is 80 minus 179 1.79 so we have five subnets, but we can go all the way to 16 subnets. So let's go 1.80 to 1.96, 95, 7, 1.96, 96 plus 16 is 112 and minus one is 1.111 now eighth subnet will start at 1.112 to uh, 127 nine we are halfway now we have eight more subnets nine will start 1.128 to 128 plus 16 is 144 143 10 1.144 to uh, 159 11 1.162 to 1.175 12 1.176 uh, to, uh, 176 plus 16 is 192 but minus 1 191 13 uh, 1 dot 192 to uh, 2 uh, 192 plus 16 is 208 so minus 1 207 14 1.208 to 224 but minus 1 2 2 2 3 and 15 we just have two more to go 1.224 to 1.234 and last one will start at 1.240 and it goes all the way to 1.255. This is the 16 subnets we are talking about. We get total subnets 16, right? And this is how you get the 16 total subnets. Okay. 
If you have any questions on this, please ask me down below. We'll look at some more examples. In the next video, if you want to see any particular example, let me know. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you and good day. Bye-bye.